Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're gonna show you how to add those cool splash screens that everyone loves. Um, it's a little small detail, but you know, when you're booting up your system, it's cooler to see and hear some cool stuff while you're waiting for everything to boot up. Um, the first place to go, if you wanna check out, there's a whole community at petrockblock.com. I'll put a link in the description. And all these people put a lot of work and effort into making splash screens for you. So if you can find one here, uh, if they're free, uh, just tell them, hey, I downloaded it, I really like your work. You know, I think that's why they do it. It'd be nice to give them a little compliment if you can. So those are where you can get some. Um, some you can get on YouTube as well. I'm also gonna post some in my channel. Some of the most popular ones are a lot of people like this one because it was... Uh, Right, you've seen this on the other. You guys saw that on my other video. I found some other really cool ones, like this one, really simple, but uh, way cooler than like. There's a couple other really cool ones. So these are the videos that'll play as you're turning on your Pi. So what you want to do is just download the MP4 file. You know, the smaller the file, probably the better. But you want it to be in uh, HD resolution if you can. You know, 720 or even 1080 would be ideal. And uh, once you have them downloaded on your computer, just go ahead and turn on your Pi. You can see here on my other monitor, I have my Pi on, just on the main screen. And uh, what we want to do is just uh, go into our network or type in the IP address. And look at that, when you go into the main directory of your Pi, you're going to have four folders, BIOS, configs, ROMs, and splash screens. So you can see basically I just dragged and dropped them from my Windows Explorer into the Pi. And now these are permanently on my Pi, on my image. So we're all done there once you've transferred them over. The other really cool thing is you can also transfer over pictures. JPEG. So if you just want like a picture to show up, you can also transfer the JPEGs into this folder as well. Once you're done there, we're going to go ahead and move over to the Pi. Okay. So at this point, by the way, how cool is this case? Look at that. Mmm. It's a sexy case. So now that we logged in, this shouldn't be, it shouldn't ask us for the password this time. Splash screens. And then you're going to have a little blue menu pop up. And... Um, you want to make sure this is enabled, that splash screens are enabled. And then you want to go up here to choose splash screen. And then instead of using RetroPie's own splash screens, you're going to go ahead and you have your own or you have extra splash screens. And it's in the right directory. That's actually where we were just dragging and dropping all those videos. And as you can see, I have all the videos here. And the one uh, that everyone was liking was this one. So let's just go ahead and do that for the sample. And it says now your splash screen is set to this. Go ahead and press OK. Make sure before you're done, you hit update splash screen. Go ahead and press over, press cancel. This should bring you to the home screen. And once your uh, emulation station goes back into the regular menu here, you can just go ahead and press start. And you can't just restart emulation station. You actually need to restart the system. Really restart? Yes. And there you go. Now we're in emulation station again. So pretty cool, right? The video splash screen for emulation station. That one's pretty cool. And you can actually preview them as well. If you're not on your computer, but you have them on your Pi, you can go to here to preview and just say, uh, 
play video splash own and then you can just click on any of these and it'll play it the thing that's weird though is when you play it, it doesn't play with sound I noticed so I'm just gonna go back back so you can preview the actual video if you're not sure what the file name was you can do it there the other one is they have a randomizer um, which a potentially lets you every time you boot up randomize it so you you play a different one uh, I tried to turn this on and it didn't seem to work so maybe I'm doing something wrong but there is that potential to get that programmed and uh, I just wanted to choose that other one let's go ahead and try that one again video splash screen okay make sure before you're done you hit update splash screen okay. escape escape or back back on your controller and then we're just gonna reboot and uh, check this one out I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time.